Dear watcher, my name is Marcel Brunner. I'm working for EMC as a Wii specialist. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate the file management appliance into a productive environment. It is referred to as FMA later on. This is the third tutorial of a series of five. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure Celera for using FMA. On the Celera GUI, I prepared two shares for the primary system and one share for a secondary system and the corresponding SIF service to it VFS 03 and VFS 04. They're also reflected in the Windows Explorer. So now I open up a browser window and point it to my FMA. I log in with the username admin and the password rain. I'm now presented with the GUI of the file management appliance and hit the tab configuration in the server configuration to the left. I select file servers. Since this is my first file server to create, I'm going to choose new. I can choose any of the type. I choose the appropriate one for me in that case. This is Solera. I have choices like NetApp, Sentera, Windows, Atmos. I'm going to select the file mover settings first. In here I put in the username RFFM, the one that I created on the Solera, and put in the corresponding password. In the basic file server information, I now enter the file server name, which is VFS03. I choose the correct start version. The file server is a virtual data mover. I hit update in the IP address, it does an NS lookup, and I add that IP address. Then on the control station, I put in the IP address from the Celera control station, where the primary file system resides. In the SIF specific setting, I have to choose a user that has domain administrative rights. In my case, this is simply the global domain admin, which is administrator, its password, and the domain that administrator belongs to. And I simply click Celera as a source. I don't need any callback agent settings, whether for Celera or Atmos. And I hit commit. Now I am going to verify the, the file server by selecting it choosing a primary source file system, in my case the home deer. This is the share that was reflected in the Celera Manager GUI. Verification was successful. It says authentication of file mover in SIF was successful. I'm going to create the next file server, which is my secondary file server. Again, in that case, I choose the Celera because I'm going to manage files within the same Celera system. And put in the name of the file server VFS04, dot version 5.6, the file server is a VDM. I hit update, do the NS lookup and add the IP address. Again, I need to put in the IP address of the corresponding Celera control station. I need to add the domain administrative user again, administrator with its password and its corresponding domain. This is all I have to go for the configuration in that window and I hit commit. I verify the file server by selecting it, hitting the button verify, SIFS authentication successful. I go back by clicking configuration and I go for the NAS repository and NAS group. So this defines then the, the repositories where the archived files will reside in. I'm going to choose the correct file server, VFS04. I'm going to browse for the share, which is Hallmark. And I simply say, save repository. Now I can order NAS repositories into NAS groups. This makes a lot of sense because it's much easier to know which NAS group a NAS repository refers to. I save the group and I hit finish. And basically I'm done. Thank you very much for your attention. This concludes the third part of the video tutorial for FMA. Goodbye.